Hello everybody and welcome to Work Out Wednesday. I'll give you a minute to get settled. Grab your mat. Get ready for a little bit of Wednesday afternoon movement. So I figured I'll, I'll start giving people a little bit more time instead of just jumping right into our workout. So take your time. We'll all meet here together. I was gonna do a um, a full body workout with some sun salutations, um, and then I was gonna do some obliques and side planks, but I'm not feeling super high energy today. And the whole yoga thing is about respecting where your body's at and what your body needs today. So um, I figured the best thing to do would be some neck and shoulder mobility exercises. So my mom has requested this because she's been having some issues with her shoulders. Um, and funnily enough, I woke up this morning with a stiff neck <laughs> and it's funny, like they say, um, I saw this meme that was something along the lines of like, you know, when you're a kid, you can like fall off the swing set <laughs> and be totally fine, get back up. But you buy the wrong pillow when you're 30 and your neck is messed up for the rest of your life. <laughs> I kind of feel like that. Um, I have a, I have like a special bamboo cervical spine neck pillow that's actually really great because I'm a, uh, a side sleeper. But last night I was listening to a meditation with my earphones um, and this particular meditation has binaural beats which are like these um, uh, sound frequencies, special sound frequencies that are um, supposed to be different in each ear. So if I was sleeping too hard on one ear um, I wouldn't be able to hear the sound so I was kind of like putting my head in this like weird direction to be able to listen to this like half hour meditation. And then I don't know what happened guys, but <laughs> my neck is feeling it today. So if you are looking for um, some neck and shoulder mobility exercises, that will be today. It won't be the most intense workout ever, but if you do a lot of driving and um, spending time on your computer and like hunched over all the time, then this is definitely for you. My posture has been something that I've been working on lately. Um, Especially someone who has uh, depression and anxiety, I tend to be like crouched over a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm working on feeling more confident, opening my heart center. So, okay, so hopefully you are on your mat now and we can get settled into our practice. So finding a tall spine, seat a position that feels most comfortable for you, whether that's legs crossed, legs out. You could do the sitting on a chair if you wanted in your office chair, whatever feels right for you. Okay, so straight spine, standing tall, or sitting tall, I suppose, uh, bringing shoulders down and away from the ears, creating space length along the spine, breathing deeply. Let's begin by rolling the head along the body. So let's inhale, turn our head to the right shoulder. Exhale, roll down along the front of the body to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, roll to the right. Moving at your own pace. Okay, so from here, we might decide to do full circles now. So as we inhale, let's roll the head back, lifting the nose, not wrenching the, the head back too far, just drawing a circle with the nose now from shoulder to shoulder. Feels nice for me, I hope it feels good for you too. When you feel ready, changing directions, don't forget to breathe. Beautiful. Okay, making any final intuitive movements with the neck that you feel that you need today. Perhaps bringing the hands behind the neck, interlacing the fingers. 
and just looking up, stretching open the front body, <sighs> taking deep breaths, maybe massaging the back of the neck and the shoulders, giving them some love base of the head, that little like sort of ball that sits in between your shoulder blades, the base of the neck. Maybe looking down, seeing if you can access some more muscles that way. Beautiful. Okay, so let's bring our attention to our shoulders now. So Bring your hands out to the sides of the, of the body on the mat here. And as we inhale, let's bring the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, sigh, let them drop down. <sighs> Feel that tension release. Okay, let's keep going now. <sighs> Beautiful, let's keep going, a couple more breaths. Beautiful. Okay, let's isolate one shoulder now. Let's start with the right shoulder. We're going to bring it up on the inhale and then down and back on the exhale, making small circles. All right, let's go. Almost like you're doing the back crawl. Fun fact, I used to be a competitive swimmer. <laughs> I missed the pool. The coronavirus has kept me out of the pool. And uh, the lakes have been cold until now, so hopefully I'll get back to swimming soon. Back crawl was my specialty. Okay, let's change directions now. So inhaling as we go back and up, exhaling forward and down. Beautiful. Okay, let's change um, shoulders here. Now we're going to the left shoulder. So inhale up, exhale back and down. All right, let's change directions now. So we're inhaling up and back. Exhaling down and forward. Beautiful. Okay, let's do both arms now. So we'll start with the back crawl and then we'll go to the front crawl. So shoulders up towards the ears on the inhale, down and back on the exhale. Up to the ears on the inhale. Down and back on the exhale. Imagine those shoulder blades on the back of the body knitting together along the spine. Notice if you have any clicking or pain in the shoulders, you might want to get that checked out or do some of these mobility exercises a little bit more often. These are great to do when you're sitting at your desk or on the couch. Maybe not all driving because you're going to look a little bit weird. <laughs> But if you don't care, then you don't care. So I suppose you could just be safe. Beautiful. Okay, let's change directions now. Front crawl. Inhale up to the ears. Exhale forward down. Again, imagining those shoulder blades at the back of the body back here, knitting close together. Beautiful. Okay, let's add in our arms now this time. So again, we'll start with the back crawl. So you'll notice that when you, well, we'll do that. We'll do it together and I'll show you. So inhale, arms up and together. And then when you do the, um, the back portion, you might have to turn your hands out a little bit and your arms are going to have to go a little bit wider than you would be able to here just because your arms don't, well, maybe they do, but they don't go as close together on the back swing there. So that's normal. If you need to make a little bit more space, um, in, between the hands, that's totally fine. Okay, both arms now. You'll notice for me, I have kind of double jointed elbows. 
So I have to be really careful with my um, with my elbows and my shoulder mobility and any sort of um, arm balances because I have that hypermobility. Um, and you gotta be careful not to um, to overflex them. So I used to think that because I could lock them in that position that they were be they'd be stronger there, but that actually is a point of weakness. So if you have any sort of similar uh, hypermobile joints, really be careful with those. Okay. Yeah, I can feel all that tightness on my right side. <laughs> okay, so let's change directions now. Forward. Inhaling as we come up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Wonderful. Okay, so we've done some circles. Now we're going to do some um, opening and closing of the chest. So again, imagining the shoulder blades coming together. And when we close our arms, imagining them separating as we round through the spine. So we're going to inhale to open like a big bird. Exhale to close and round forward, almost like a little mini forward fold. More. I'm starting to feel this actually. I'm the type of person that always needs to take a break when I'm like changing a shower curtain because all the blood runs into my arms. <laughs> so these kind of exercises can help you with that, um, that vascular ability, that circulatory um, issue. Okay, coming back to center. Okay, let's do a little left and right now, um, like a little crescent, crescent bend. So plant the left hand, bring the right hand up and over it. Turn to face the ceiling, opening the side body, really taking this right hand and pushing it towards the other, or pulling it, I guess, towards the opposite side of the room, the left side of the room. Feeling that release in the outer shoulder. Exhale the right hand down, inhale left hand up. I'm flowing with the breath here, back and forth. If you want to add a little bit more spinal mobility here, what you might do is take your hand, the one that's up, and then swoop it across the front of the body, switching hands back and forth. Going from a rounded spine to an open chest. Beautiful. Okay, we've got just a couple more exercises. We're gonna use a strap in a minute, but not yet. So if you have a strap nearby, um, grab that. But not quite yet, we're gonna do some twists first. So bring the hands to either side of the body, inhale, lift them up and overhead. Exhale, take your right hand to the outside of the left knee as we open to the left. And turn your head to look over the left shoulder. Coming into a little spinal twist. Also stretching the neck here. But not straining. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left hand to right knee, open to the right. Look over the right shoulder. Flowing with the breath now, inhale to center. Exhale to twist. Inhale to center. Exhale to twist. Moving at your own pace. Inhale back to center. Let's take a little back bend here. Gaze at the ceiling. Exhale, it's forward fold all the way down. Coming down as far as feels comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale back up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the right arm and we're going to send it across the body over to the left side. We're going to take the left arm underneath, bend the elbow, catch your right elbow in a sort of T position, and then we're going to take this right hand and send it towards the left side of the room. And the, the right hand, uh, sorry, the left hand, the arm is going to sort of lift that shoulder up. So a bit of a passive stretch. We're not pulling too hard. Breathing deeply. Let's inhale to open. Exhale, switch arms. Left arm comes in front of the body over to the right side. Right arm supports underneath. Left arm stretching to the right side of the room. Right hand supporting, right arm supporting. Couple breaths here. Beautiful. Okay, inhale back to open. Exhale, let's do one more forward fold. Okay, if you have that strap nearby, grab it. So I'm just gonna keep my forward fold here, but if you need to run and grab a strap, or if you have a scarf or just any sort of long, skinnyish piece of fabric, that'll do. Okay, so I've got my yoga strap here. This isn't even technically a yoga strap. It's just the strap that holds my yoga mat together. So it's totally fine to use. Most people have one of those with their yoga mat. So if you have that nearby, great. If not, you could probably just do it. Pretend you're holding it. <laughs> it just might be a little bit easier for some people who maybe don't have as much flexibility and need a little bit of extra support. Okay, so we're going to take the strap out in front of us. On the inhale, we're going to lift up and overhead, and then a slight back bend as we gaze at the ceiling. A couple breaths here. You might start to pull the strap to either side, like pull it out like this way, just to get a little bit more, um, more active energy going in the body here. Exhale, bring it back down. Now we'll flow with the breath. Now lift it up in the inhale. Exhale back down. Experiment with how far you can bring it behind the body. So don't go as far as to feel pain, but just experiment with see, see what your shoulder mobility is like. A couple more of these and then we're going to do one called Around the World. My neck is already feeling better. I'm getting old, y'all. <laughs> but yoga keeps you young, so I've got plenty of plenty of yoga life left in me. Okay, so now we're gonna go around the world. So what this looks like is we'll still inhale to go up, but then we're gonna bring the left hand out. Right hand comes up straight, and then we're gonna go behind the body. And then now we're coming back into this L shape on the other side. So we're going and making circles around the body. So you can, you can match this up with the breath, right? So you can exhale around the back body, inhale around the front body, or vice versa. It might be easier to inhale around the back because the, your chest is a bit more open. So you can exhale as you round through the front, inhale as you open. But whatever feels more comfortable for you. Just exploring your shoulder rotation. Feels really nice. <laughs> Hello everybody, I see a couple people joining in. We're just doing some shoulder exercises. So if you're just joining in, you probably don't have your strap ready, that's okay. Um, we're just gonna do one more final exercise because we're almost done here. You can attempt to do it without your strap, that's totally okay. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I am about to do. Okay, so hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> Okay, you're going to take your strap in your right arm and you're going to lift it up over your head. And then you're going to see if you can grab it with your left hand. 
and then you're going to bend the right arm and then lift your left hand up until you can until you can't really reach anymore and then you're just going to gently pull in both directions trying to keep the elbows on a lateral line so one elbow facing the ceiling one facing the floor almost in line with your spine if you can if you're hypermobile, you might be able to actually just reach. So I can do this because I used to be a, a, a soccer goalie. This was one of my warm-up exercises. So I usually start by bringing my left hand to the back body in between the shoulder blades, right hand up overhead and bends, clasps the fingers, and then I snuggle the shoulders together. So if you can't do this, that's totally fine. Use the strap, use a scarf, use anything that you have handy. And just hold this for a couple moments. I'll turn around now so you can see you. I can see you again. So this is a great shoulder stretch. You can also start to pull the hands away from each other while clasping the fingers so you make this a little bit more active. Remember to stay open in the front of the chest. And exhale, let's bring the right hand up, left hand down, shake it all out. Okay, again, if you need to use your strap, that's totally fine. I'll, I'll guide you through it one more time in case you missed it. Okay, so left hand comes up holding the strap behind the body. Right hand comes behind the body, grabs the strap. I can't find it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so grabs the strap. Then the left arm bends, creating a little bit more slack in the line. And we'll take the right hand up and up and up the strap until you get as close as you can to the left hand. And then you can pull the strap in opposite directions to make this a little bit more of an active pose. Again, if you can reach without the strap, I usually like to begin with the right hand snug between the shoulder blades and then reach back with the left arm. So I find I don't have quite as much mobility on this side as I do the other and it's totally normal if you have like one side of the body that's not as strong as the other. That's just, just how it goes. That's why we do yoga, to be aware of what's going on in the body. Don't, don't judge yourself or think that you're deficient. If you can't do something or have a hard time or one side of the body feels tougher than the other, or even something that you can do one day, you find that you have trouble with another. That's just, that's just, that's what we're here for. We're here to find out those things. No judgment just accepting what is. All right, let's come back to center. Beautiful. All right, so it's just about time to end our practice. But you know what, let's do, let's do a couple more just because I'm, I'm enjoying this little stretch. So we'll, let's do some um, table pose, table twists, puppy pose, and then we'll end out with a child's pose. So I just see a couple people joining on and I don't wanna cut you off short. <laughs> Okay, so let's come to table pose. So, knees are hip width apart. Hands are shoulder width apart. We're stacking our elbows under shoulders, wrists under elbows, neutral spine, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. And we've got like a perpendicular line with the mat um, with our thighs. So 90 degree angle going on here. Okay, so we'll inhale to lift the nose, lift the tailbone, drop the belly coming into cow. Exhale, drop the chin, tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly towards the spine. And then just continue with your own pace. Inhale to lift the crown, the chin, the tailbone. Exhale to round under. Flowing at your own pace. Make sure you're pressing through the fingertips, not dumping all of your weight into the wrists. So again, we're working with the shoulders and the neck here. When we're in cow, our shoulder blades are together. When we're in cat, they're rounding away from each other. So see if you can focus on that sensation. Okay, so now we're gonna add a twist in. So plant the, the right hand down, then the left hand is gonna come up like you're drawing a bow and arrow, 
up to the ceiling. We're twisting, gaze at the ceiling or your middle finger. And then as we exhale, we're gonna bend that left arm, drop it underneath the space between your leg and your arm, and then we're gonna send the shoulder and the ear down to the mat. You can bend your right elbow at 90 degrees. So bum still in the air, thighs still at 90 degrees. Sending the left fingers out towards the right side of the mat. Breathing. Inhale, we push up, come back to center. And then we'll bring the right hand up. So plant the left hand, bring the left hand, or right hand up. Exhale, we'll bring the right hand under. Dropping ear and shoulder to the mat. Breathing here. I'm glad this dress has shorts <laughs> or else this would be kind of awkward. Probably get more views though, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. That's not why I'm here. I'm here if you want to be here. I'm here to help you. Or else I could just be doing this by myself. Which I probably would because my neck hurts today, so. Anyway, I'll shut up. Let's come back to center and let's just flow with the breath for a couple here. Inhale to open. Exhale to twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale, catch your breath. Inhale, open to the other direction. Exhale to twist. Or you might just stick with one side and do maybe four breaths on the left side, four breaths on the right side. Up to you. I see a couple of you left comments, so I'll have to check in with them after. But thank you for being here. Thanks for saying hi. Okay, final two stretches. So let's come back to our table position. Look down at where your middle fingers are, and then we're gonna drop the elbow right in front of where the middle finger is pointing. So like this, and then we're gonna send the forearm out straight. And then we are gonna send the chest down towards the mat. So if you need to walk your hands out a bit further, if you have like a long torso, a long arms, that's okay. We're gonna send the heart down towards the mat, rest the chin on the mat. If your chin doesn't reach, you can grab a block or a stack of books, Kleenex box, toilet paper, roll, whatever. Just a little extra support pillow. If you need that support, go right ahead. So shoulders are drawing towards each other, but away from the ears, we're not dumping into the shoulders. If you found that the twist we did earlier feels good, you might add a little twist into this pose, a little bit deeper. You can tent those left fingertips, creating just a bit more space. Switching whenever it feels good or just hanging out in center, whatever. Whatever you like. And when you feel ready, we're just gonna walk the fingers back as we drop the hips onto the uh, heels. If you like a deep child's pose, you might take the knees and spread them out to opposite sides of the mat to make a little bit more space for the upper body. Or if you find that um, that's not as comfortable for you, you might bring the knees together. So just explore with what feels, what feels best. Okay, so child's pose, we're dropping down to the mat, similar to puppy pose, except we've just got less of a prominent bum, I suppose. And see if you can pull the shoulders down and away from the ears, but at the same time, walk the fingers to the opposite edge of the mat, the, the front of the mat. So we're creating sort of a polar energy in the arms here, moving in both directions. So if you can send your tailbone to the back of the mat as well, 
pressing the hands into the mat. Beautiful. Okay, so let's come back to a seated position as we close out our class. Our little workout Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I was hoping to do a bit more of like a workout, like an intense workout today, but obviously my neck and shoulders weren't having it, so it felt nice to, to do that. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning, yoga is all about accepting where your body is at in the moment and doing what feels right and feels best for your body. Your body will let you know. You just have to learn how to tune in and listen. Great. Okay. So next week, um, we'll probably do that full body. I was going to move through some sun salutations, um, which works our upper body, our abs and our legs. If we add in some, some warriors in there, um, I just need to figure out how to, um, get my Instagram frame a little bit wider because you can't really see my my whole body on Instagram because it has to be uh, Portrait mode, so I might have to move my tripod a little bit. So we'll figure it out. I just figured for today um, wouldn't be the best anyway, so Thank you for showing up either live or checking this workout later. I really appreciate it Thank you for supporting me in my work to support you <laughs> If you're looking for um, more videos you can find them on my Facebook or Instagram, all of these uh, videos get saved. So you can look under my IGTV or on my Yoga Naraska Facebook page um, to find past workouts for you to do at any time on demand. You can also check out my YouTube channel, which has some practices up there. I'm constantly uploading more. Um, and you can also check out my website where I do have a content library there as well as um, hour long classes every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesdays are more of like a workout flow uh, to fun music and Thursdays are a gentle stretch similar to the one we just did followed by a 30 minute uh, guided meditation where all you have to do is lie down on the mat and listen. It's like the easiest most relaxing yoga ever and it's great for sleep and reducing stress and anxiety. So if that's something that interests you check out www yoganarasta.com and then go under online classes and you can find out a bit more there. You can always just send me a DM if, uh, if that interests you too. Okay, thanks so much for popping in and I will see you soon. I hope your neck and shoulders feel good. Mine do.